I mean, it's been about a week ago. We saw a tweet from you saying that you're having some trouble breathing. You were going to the hospital. Are you okay? What's going on, man? Yeah, I had a respiratory infection. Uh, and you just have to deal with those things. I was short of breath. Uh, but, uh, I, I got past it. It's nice when you live about three or four minutes from the uh, hospital here where I live in Jacksonville beach. And, uh, so it, it's, it's been a challenging week to say the least. Uh, you know, I got back from Oklahoma where I had hospital time and now I'm, uh, back in Jacksonville, as you can probably see about my backdrop, uh, you know, I got, things are busy. I like being busy as you know, I think I'm just insecure. I feel like I'm not contributing to the welfare of my cause. If I don't, if I don't stay busy and I have been busy, so it's all good. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I had a good time in, uh, in long Island. It was, uh, it's worked out well. So I had, a, I had a lot of fun in New York, not fun party and stuff. I didn't leave my room, but, uh, it's, a, it's been good. It's been good. I've been, I, I had a good experience and, uh, I wasn't sure what, how much fuel I had left in the tank. You know, I, the, the call time was two o'clock. I think it was. Mm. And, uh, so I got there and, and hung out in the announcer's, uh, locker room with the rest of my buddies. And so, but I had a lot of, it was good fellowship. It was, I had a lot of, a lot of people were very supportive and I appreciated that, you know, it's just good to have support friends. So it, it all worked out pretty good. So I, I had a good weekend. I had a good weekend. I, and then I flew out, uh, I got to Jackson. I got to, uh, what town was we, I, I got to long Island and, uh, it worked out. You know, I just, I got lucky. I, I had enough energy and enough stamina, uh, to pull it off. And it's just funny how an old veteran like me can, uh, survive the, uh, schedule, the intensity. I've never seen Tony Khan. So ecstatic with my work as he was after the show on uh, Sunday night. And I appreciated that. That was, was timely. And cause I don't, he's busy and I understand the ways of the world and the wrestling so that I didn't go crazy here. I didn't, you know, it was just a good, good scenario, good situation. So, uh, and I appreciate his kind words. He was very nice to me after the show. And, uh, so it worked out good, man. I, I had fun and I thought we had a solid show. I thought the match that closed the show swerve and Osprey, uh, was what the doctor ordered, but they did a good job. That swerve is going to be a, he's a player. Yeah, he is. He's a player and he's a tough kid. Uh, I thought uh, that's a nice shot. It tells a lot of stories there. Uh, Look at little Dick Clark over on the, on the right, Justin Roberts. He's a gimmick, man. The dapper yapper. Yeah. That, you know, that, that, the dapper yapper uh, moniker was, uh, a name that Heyman gave me years and years ago. Uh, and I kind of embraced it and now it's been passed on to Justin, who does an outstanding job. Yes. I, I thought having, uh, I thought having both, uh, ring announcers added something so much. I loved yeah. it. Yeah. I thought it, I thought it was very timely and it worked out real well for my, for my years. It was, it sounded great. So, uh, but it, what, what match on that show you think was a sleeper? What match on the, on the pay-per-view Sunday night do you think? Uh, flip the switch when it needed to. I mean, I think the main event was the mat is a match of the year candidate for sure. I was really impressed with Osprey and certainly with Swerve. I've been a Swerve guy from day one, and I thought they exceeded expectations. Yeah. Um, 
and I was surprised, you know, I, I was a, a big Hayabusa fan as a kid. So I love the tribute for the gear that we saw Osprey wear. And uh, I think a lot of hip hop fans were excited to see Jim Jones come out and make a little cameo. It felt big time. It had a big fight feel. And I think a lot of people were under the assumption that Hey, we're going to make Swerve a transitional champion and they're going right to Osprey. And when it goes the other way, man, it was just fantastic. And I really enjoyed it. And I enjoyed the Brian Danielson match. I'm actually pretty hyped up about this Owen tournament. Uh, and, uh, as you and I are recording, it's Wednesday. So by the time folks are listening to this, they know who the wild card opponent was for Jeff Jarrett, but I'm being a bit of a Homer. I'm pulling for Jeff. I know he was on the pre-show with the pay-per-view, but the the promos that they have uploaded from AEW just telling the the backstory of Owen and Jeff Jarrett golly what a great story and sometimes you know those stories aren't made in a writer's room it just sort of falls in your lap and and the idea that Jeff is the only guy in the tournament who knew Owen I thought they got a lot of mileage out of that and it was really really well done yeah yeah <clears throat> Jeff uh, uh delivered no doubt I had a nice long chat with him on Sunday, actually in catering. Catering seems to be like the student union. There you go. Everybody hangs, uh, you know, and it was good. I, I had a, I had some good conversations in there and, and people seemed to be glad to see me, which I thought was uplifting and, uh, it made me happy. So, uh, I think it gave me the adrenaline that I needed to get through this thing. I was, uh, I had, the, you know, those two matches and quite honestly, that was plenty, you know, it was plenty. I, I had, I, I enjoyed my assignment and, and I was, uh, it was good booking by Tony Khan. Uh, and he was happy with my work, which is always nice for your boss to be pleased with your efforts. And, uh, you know, he, he, he booked me, he booked me well. And, uh, so I appreciated that and it was just, it was just real good. And I guess, uh, you, as you and I were talking before we went on the air, uh, the, my next assignment will be in, in London. Uh, you know, I got a, I got a big appearance on, uh, on, on, uh, Saturday in Philly, yeah, this Saturday, Philadelphia, yeah. the 2300 arena battleground championship wrestling, the voice of wrestling is coming your way. They're doing a barbecue bash meet and greet, and it's happening this Saturday, July the 6th from 4 to 7 p.m. And yes, it's at the famed former ECW arena. It's called the 2300 arena now at the corner of Swanson and Rittner in South Philadelphia. Go out of your way to see JR there this Saturday, July 6th, 4 to 7 at the 2300 arena. And by the way, if you're listening to this and you'd like to get JR to your event, he is making appearances. For right. booking information, you can email him right now, Jim Ross at 1168-media.com. That's Jim Ross at 1168-media.com. 